Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to make the new Mystic Lights that we have. Um, as you can see, the pieces are um, in different shapes. This one is in a square shape. So we're gonna go ahead and um, show you how to put this one together. You'll notice that they have little cuts or little inlets, and that's where you're gonna insert and connect the lights. So essentially, the two large pieces at the end won't be the connecting pieces, rather the um, two smaller ones on the inside, and then you'll use the slits that are cut. Um, so I have my 30 pieces, 10 different colors of three different, or I have um, three different colors of 10 pieces each. So it'll be easier for you to see um, where I insert each piece. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll move these to the side here. All right. So um, you're gonna wanna make sure that whenever you start um, these, these uh, Mystic Lights, whenever you insert the pieces, you always wanna push the inlet down so that you can allow for the tab to come through. So you'll start with your piece facing forward and you're gonna go ahead and push down on that inlet and then go ahead and tug that right through so it should look just like that. And now we're gonna build right off of this one. We're gonna go off the same pattern as the ball and the sphere for the regular Mystic Lights. Um, so you'll become familiar with that if you've done one of those. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and push down on the inlet, insert the white piece through and then we're gonna go right to this next one. Push down in the inlet, insert it through. Okay. And then we're gonna do one more here. Make sure to push down on the insert to bring it through. All right. And now we're gonna go ahead and connect this one right in here. So you can flip it over and you'll see that we're going to pull the white one right through the inlet. Okay, so now as you'll see in the, in the center here, it's all smooth. You won't see any jaggedy squares um, like you will out here. So just keep that in mind. So now we're going to go ahead and um, start the next row. Now this next row is going to go much like the ball or the sphere for the regular ones. They're all going to slightly tilt to the right and then we're just going to go right around. So you're actually going to start where your V is and you'll see that this one is going to come right through here but also this tab is going to insert into it as well. So you're going to have two inserts going into this piece. So it should look like that. Now we're going to go right to the next one. So we're going to take our V and it's facing forward. We're going to push down it through the insert to allow the white one to come through. And then you'll go right back over to this one to connect it with the piece that's sitting here for you. So once you insert it, you'll you'll be able to tell it's supposed to go right in there. It's fairly fairly easy to read. So now it should be like that. Now we're gonna go right to the next one. Okay. So we'll go ahead and grab. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and push down on the insert. Bring the blue one through the pink. And then you're gonna come back to this one here and insert the one right next to it. Okay. So they're going to look kind of goofy until you get done with this whole row. So we'll go right to this one. All right. Grab your piece facing forward, tilt it to the right. I'm going to go ahead and insert the pink through the white. And then come back right here. And push back. and insert okay and go 
back and insert this one right here. And you can bend these, they're nice and flexible, so don't think that they're gonna rip. Okay, so now it kind of looks like an odd shaped star. But again, it's nice and flat in the center, and then the outside is where you'll see all those square shapes. Okay, so now we're onto the third row, and we're gonna use the same pattern as we do in the regular Mystic Lights, um, where it's the um, where it's the up, over, up, over pattern. So that's what we're gonna go off of. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one right up. Um, you can start anywhere where you got one of these little ones facing up. So we're gonna go ahead and start right here. <clears throat> and your first one's just gonna stay straight up and you'll see that um, this is ready to insert. So make sure to push back to allow that insert to come in. All right, and this one's gonna stay straight up because it has nothing else to connect to. So now we're gonna go right off of this one and since this one went straight up, now this next one's gonna lay down. So um, you'll take your piece, we're gonna lay it down and you'll see that there's um, an insert right here. So we're gonna stick this one through this insert, pull it through, and then we're gonna come right to the top here and connect the pieces together. All right, so now we're gonna go right to this next one. Piece is sticking up here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and allow, put the insert through, push back. Oops. <laughs> it gets to be a lot going on, so don't get discouraged. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna connect this one with this one right next to it here. Go ahead and push back on the insert to pull the pink right through it. And then this is gonna this is what's gonna tighten up the ball um, so it'll make it nice and round. So now since this one was straight up, the next one will lay across. So you'll already see that this piece is looking for an insert and this one is too. So you're gonna go ahead and Push back on the tab, insert, and pull it through, and then go ahead and connect the blue one to the pink one right here. Just give it a tug, okay? So we're going back to straight up. All right, piece facing forward. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that pink one through right away. And then you're gonna go ahead and pull the white one through the tab right next to it. And again, this will start to tighten up the center here. Okay, so now because that one is straight up, we're gonna go ahead and lay it across for this next one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. So the tab's gonna come through. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect right here. Push the tab back to allow the white one to come through. Okay. Right to the next one. So now we're going to go up. All right, got your piece facing forward. Go ahead and push the tab back to allow that white one to come through. Just tug it. Then go ahead and insert the pink right into the opening next to it. Okay. All right, and now we're going to go across or lay it down. Go ahead and piece facing forward. Push the tab back so I can allow the white one to come through. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this one with the white one. And just pull it through. Okay, and then I have another one, so we're gonna go straight up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Push the tab back to allow the green one to come through, or the teal one. Enter the white one right through the tab next to it. Okay, and we have one piece left and it's gonna lay down and it'll connect all of these together, tighten it all up. So we'll go ahead and gonna lay it down to the left, pull, white one through, 
We're going to connect this one on this side. Push the tab through, allow the pink to come through. And then finally connect the last one. So push the tab through. And pull the white one through it. So there. So now you have your third row done. And you'll see that the inside is still nice and smooth. Um, no squares or anything popping through it. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, and then you'll be able to turn it around and you'll see all of your square shapes coming through. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and get the fourth row ready. We have two rows left. We're going to go back to that um, second simple row where we just so lightly laid each of them to the right and went right around. So we're going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so you can start at any point where you have um, one of the little tabs sticking up. So just pick a spot you want to start at, and I'm going to start right here. All right, so you have your piece facing forward, and you're going to go ahead and allow that triangle to come through your tab. So you'll slightly tilt it to the right, and then go ahead and pull the tab through. And now you'll see sometimes they kind of bend like that. You just got to pull them through so they sit real nice. And then you're going to go ahead and take that second one and put it through the one right to the right of it. Just pull it. There you go. Okay, so we're going to go right to the next tab that's sticking up here. Piece is facing forward. Slightly tilt it to the right. Go ahead and insert that bottom one. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and insert the one right to the right here. Oh, sometimes you might pull them off apart a little bit, so you'll just have to pull them right back through. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to go right to the next one. Piece facing forward, slightly tilted to the right. Go ahead and insert this one right in here. Okay. You'll insert the one right next to it. Okay. Go right to the next one. Piece facing forward. Then push it down. facing forward, tilt it slightly to the right, allow that tab to come through. Go ahead and put the next one right through. Okay, so we have everything we need for that row. As you can see, the center is still nice and smooth. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish it off here. <clears throat> All right. So now you'll see that we have the tabs on each side, and that's what we're going to use to go ahead and finish this off. So the piece is facing forward. We're going to go ahead and tilt it a little bit to the right, and you'll see that this will sneak right in the tab and then this one well that's sitting right next to that piece go ahead and pull that right through as well okay and now we're gonna go right to the next one okay all right right here piece is facing forward and insert connect this one, the one that's sitting right next to it. And then as you can see, when I fold this in to connect here, this one's going to be ready to insert right into this one. So you're going to do three right here, three little inserts. You get the first one, 
There's the second one, and now we're going to go ahead and insert the center together as well. Okay, go right to the next one here. Okay, piece facing forward. We're going to go ahead and push that center down. Insert the, the teal here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in right next to it. And you'll be able to feel that the ball and the pieces are getting tighter together, um, which will hold it nice and nice and tight so it won't pop apart. Okay. All right. Just a couple pieces left here. All right. Here we go. We're going to go right there. All right. Got your piece facing forward. Go ahead and tilt it a little bit to the left. Connect white tab through here and then we'll go ahead and insert this one that's right next to it okay and then you'll be able to see this one needs to go right inside of this so we'll just insert that all right and then you have one piece left so um we'll go ahead and this is where i tell you guys to go ahead and, and put the cords in for these ones because it's a lot easier to put the cord in after or before the piece is completely finished. So we'll go ahead and put a cord in. So we're gonna go ahead and insert the, um, the light bulb now. So then that way when we put the last piece in, we're all set and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in um, with these cords. Again, you only use um, no more than a 40 watt bulb. I suggest the energy efficient. Um, keeps them nice and cool. So go ahead and drop that in and then we'll, we'll uh, kind of play with that a little bit later. So and now we're going to go ahead and insert the last piece. So you'll see it's um, ready for me here. Go ahead and my piece facing forward. Go ahead and insert the blue one or the teal one in. We're going to go right to the left here and insert this tab into the one that's right next to it. And it'll be fairly obvious to you which, which one because they're pretty much touching. So there's that one. And then... And they'll start to kind of come apart as you're pulling and tugging. Um, but until you finally latch that very last one right here, once you do that, it'll be nice and tight. So now that all pieces have had tabs through another, you can go ahead and see that your sphere that has a bunch of squares is finished. And then you can go ahead and light it up.